show me a man that is not ashamed to acknowledge before God that Lord I can rise again show me a man who can come before God and say Lord I know I didn't train my children well I should have taught them certain things I spoiled them now my children are adults and they are causing trouble but can you find a way of showing mercy and God will carry those children to household of David is this an answer to prayer God will insist that one stubborn child meanders into a powerful crusade one day. He's just strolling and he's standing there. The mother's prayer for mercy is haunting that child till he finds God. A man can be in prison, stole whether government, stole whatever, and like Jonah in the belly of the fish did you not notice that everybody who was shown mercy started initiating it thou son of david have mercy just because you are a merciful god does not mean mercy will come to me i must prove that i acknowledge i cannot help myself mercy is not for sinners mercy is for men we are very embarrassed to admit and accept mercy because every time we say we need mercy, we don't want to give an impression like we were sinners who have committed something. The condition for mercy is that you acknowledge you are a man. Mercy has nothing to do with sinning. It's God's system of advantage programmed in your life to help your humanity so that you will arrive in spite of your humanity. There are preachers who may never have the opportunity to settle down and study scripture and now you are a pastor you are busy maybe you just came back somewhere and you have to preach and in the name of honesty you know you did not prepare anything and you just as at the point you are on the stage you are not even sure of what you are going to say but you can stand and say lord have mercy you know that I truly did not prepare. It's not a product of carelessness. My humanity caught up with me. I needed to send my children to school and suddenly that grace from heaven. And that becomes the message that will be one of the greatest message you have preached. And every time you hear that message, it reminds you that this is how far God came to help you. There are students who stand before God writing an exam and they say, Lord, if you do not help me, other people may trust in horses and chariots. I know what I wrote. I know that based on what I wrote, I must return back to school. But is there any provision, oh God of mercy, for the sake of my mother, for the sake of how my school fees came? And suddenly the result comes out and you see 4.5 CGPA and while everybody's saying well done the owner cannot clap because he knows this is not my result it was given to me thank you for watching yes, christian no. house channel what's that song again Mountain your brokenness the secret listen God does not need perfection is exhausting and unnecessary God needs brokenness and sincerity hear what I tell you when you see God use mighty men is not a proof of their flawlessness we are men we get angry we get sad we also have issues we have problems but the key is that the higher we rise the more we remain on our knees that is the mystery the mystery that keeps the great going is that the, we know that the higher you rise the closer you are on the ground so while you are clapping apostle joshua selman great man pastor shola great man you understand the secret lord it is only by your mercy i don't know what my 10 years will be i've not been exposed to the blessing and the honor of the 10 years version of me before i disappoint myself oh god of heaven help me a broken heart years ago i was told a pastor it was a pastor's conference and a man of God, ministers were praying. And he said he came close to the altar where Daddy Joe was praying. I don't know where that was. And all Daddy Joe was saying about two, three hours was mercy. Mercy, Lord. 
young ministers were crying lord expand my ministry things can be like this bring members bring partners and here are veterans of the gospel knowing that partners without mercy will add more disappointment mercy mercy the imbalance of communicating spiritual truth is what makes us averse to mercy when you say mercy say what do i need it for I mean, I'm born again, I'm the righteousness of God. You are right, but you are very wrong. Very, very wrong. Mercy is God's advantage. Listen, the mercy of God will make that this was the direction you were supposed to follow to the door. But you followed here foolishly or innocently. When you say mercy, God removes the door and puts it here to make sure you still follow the door. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you will keep down, lie you will see down, coming after me. Listen, if you ever laugh at a broken man, get ready to say I'm sorry because you must say it. When show me a woman who served idols, show me a young man who lived a destructive and wayward life while you are discussing their downfall they are negotiating and renegotiating with destiny lord i know i lived my life as a prostitute i know as a young man i was a cultist lord i know as a pastor i collected power from that man and while people are talking about the jesus that died after three days he's back to life Rejoice not over me, my enemies. Listen, it is because of this mystery, the Bible says, for we know. The rest may not know, but in the economy of God, we know there is an intelligence we have that all things can work together. You shout at your boss and insult him and he fires you. You were wrong, but you are still not dead. You can use that opportunity and say, Lord, left for me, I deserve the consequences of my carelessness. But Lord, I've learned. What then is your advantage of being God over my life? Is it not because I'm your child? I'm, I'm teaching you how to renegotiate your life. Bring brokenness before God and I show you what he cannot ignore. Thou son of David, have mercy on me there was no mention of faith again whether you can receive or not receive you have cried for my mercy let me veto your weakness and still help you we're going to pray somebody shout mercy, mercy. shout it for your family mercy. shout it for your finances mercy. hallelujah you paid your tithe only two times last year you know that based on the principles of the kingdom your heaven should be closed but you can say Lord mercy for what then is the advantage of God in my life you are not an idol I do not take you for granted but tonight I shout mercy someone shout mercy, mercy. my time is up we're going to pray hold hands together we're really going to pray the prayer of mercy from the depth of our heart Mercy over my children. Mercy over the family I came from. Lord, it may not be my fault, but I acknowledge and I admit that I came from a family that there is, there is an incense that is rising from that family that programs wars in my life. But tonight I shout mercy. My grandfather did it to protect us. The incisions in my body was done by sincere people the ordinances the tokens of darkness fraternity with dark powers mercy someone pray lift your voice and pray someone is pleading the blood speak mercy mercy over my background Mercy over my mistakes. Mercy over my carelessness. Mercy over my mindset. Mercy over my relatives. 
Listen, two minutes and I'm out of here. This conference was designed to show you what you have been afraid of invoking in your life. It is true that the consequences of the sins of the father can catch up with the sons. It is true that causes are real. The redemptive work of Jesus is also real, but it does not come upon you automatically. There must be a state of brokenness to appropriate it. And the, the link is the mercy of God. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. Why? For the time to favor her. Yet the set time is come. Lift your voice and cry for mercy. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.